Hello and welcome back. This is my very first look at Pop OS. Now, Pop OS is based out of Denver, Colorado. Of course, Denver here in the United States from System76, a US company that makes the popular Ubuntu based desktops and laptops. So I'm running this inside a virtual machine. It's my very first look. So let's take a look and see what happens. We have a welcome screen. Click next. And let's see, select my keyboard. Very well, looks like it's selected English US, okay. Privacy allows applications to determine your geographical location. Well, let's do, let's shut that off for now. Time zone New York is correct. Uh, connect my online accounts. Now nah, skip that for now. You need a few details to complete setup. My name is well. Let's go go with Toss. Encrypt home folder. Nah. Password. This is just a test, so we'll just do a simple three-digit password. All right, start using Pop OS. That was simple enough. Let's see what happens. This, of course, has a GNOME desktop environment. GNOME is not my favorite, I'll be honest up front, and it's particularly not very fast. Or very smooth, as say, uh, Linux Mint Mate, Ubuntu Mate, and some of the other Linux distributions. Okay, well this started rather quickly. We have some updates. I think I'll sk uh, skip the updates for now. Again, this is the default wallpaper. It is... <laughs> it's weird to say the least. This reminds me of something out of the 70s uh, or 80s uh, MTV. Unleash your potential. Why don't we change the wallpaper? That, yeah, that just doesn't work for me. Background. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay, so this also brings up the settings here to the left. Self-explanatory. Wi-Fi all the way down to details. Let's click that. Pop OS 17.10. Running this in a rather outdated machine for tests. For testing. Lenovo desktops are awesome. Check it out. Okay, well this is a standard no desktop environment. Only one top panel. You cannot right click and add anything to the panel as you could in the Mate desktop, which is my favorite. The usual suspects here in terms of shortcuts. And let's see, calendar, select a location. Let's, uh, oh, okay, that popped up immediately. Very good, nice. Okay, let's see, hit the super key. All right, brings up the search function. Favorites to the left, search here. Let's see, Firefox, uh, File Manager. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, the usual buttons here. This will not be a full test, by the way, just a quick observation. Different use of colors and fonts. Um, I kind of like it, it is different. Right click on the top, have some options, okay. This appears to be like a plain Jane vanilla GNOME desktop modified by System76. Um, let's see, activities. Let's see what all is installed. The pop, sh the pop shop. Let's take a look at the pop shop. I'm assuming this is their package manager. Let's try internet. Okay, yeah, list of downloads available. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Let's see, install to the right, and what is available to the left? I see Chromium Web Browser. I wonder, uh, we'll try something later, but let's go ahead. I wonder, um, actually, let's do this first, then uh, I'll try something right before we end this audio. Let's see, Audacious, Audacity. The default fonts are a little slow, or a little small, not slow. This is actually running pretty fast for a GNOME desktop, wow. 
yeah in terms of uh speed and performance in a virtual environment pop os pops <laughs> sorry wow all right, there isn't a lot installed here by default. Maybe this is one of the reasons why it runs pretty smooth. Let's see, utilities. Uh, let's see if anything sticks out. Screenshot, videos. Okay, like I said, not a lot installed by default. Uh, settings. All right, that brings us back there. Let's try... Um, Let's try open a terminal. Let's see. Let's try uh, sudo apt get install synaptic. Okay. For myself, a synaptic is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, package manager. Uh, maybe not for newbies, but it's not that difficult to learn. But um, okay, so installing something this way works. Pretty good. That was pretty fast. Um, well, I'm impressed by the speed of this. Um, let's go back and show applications. All right, there's Synaptic. Let's see, System. And the usual here, System Monitor. I gave this less than two gigs of RAM. Uh, and it's not, it's running pretty good. Usually with no, we need between two and four gigs of RAM to make it run smoothly. Uh, yeah, I gave this 1.8 gigs of RAM and in a virtual machine. Wow. Impressive for this vanilla flavored, generic, slightly modified GNOME desktop from System76. Hmm, I may have to, have to keep this in my uh, virtual box for further testing, but this is by far the... Um, what can I say? The poppiest, the speediest GNOME desktop I've tried in a long, long time. But the only thing left to install is GNOME Tweak Tool. And see what happens. But yeah, check out Pop! OS, um, Denver-based Linux. Um, that pops. What else can I say? Check it out. I'll have a, um, I will have a link for this below in the show notes.